Hey guys, welcome back to another video for Non Typical Life. Uh, it's taking me a while to get get everything organized to make another one, but uh, I'm gonna get on a few of them here right away. Hopefully, I'm out. But I just uh, a couple things I want to introduce this video. Early season elk hunt. Just at the tail end of the calling season, and we just went in for a few days just to see what we could do with the bow. Get started right away as I drove through the night after work to get up there, but uh, just jumps right into it. And uh, we had a great few days. And beautiful weather, a little windy, but beautiful fall colors. Um, now the second thing I want to do is uh, just introduce that our non-typical life online store is ready to go with our we got hoodies, shirts, hats, uh, working on a few other little things. But uh, this is one of the hats here. It's the camo ram fletching flex fit, one size fits all. So uh, down in the description of the video, there's going to be a link to that online store. And uh, yeah, if you're local to northeastern Alberta, maybe send me a message on the contact us on the store or on Instagram. And if you don't want to pay the shipping, I do have uh, some stock here uh, local in my house. But yeah, hope you enjoy the video and go check out the website. It's there's a lot of stuff on there. Thanks. Got three coyotes bedded right here. They're just bedded on a little hillside. 60 yards ahead of me. Guys, first day of my elk hunt for this year. Kind of a short elk hunt, but I've decided I'm going to try with my bow this year. I brought just brought a muzzle loader as backup as rifle season's open. But there's something in the bush I can smell, like really bad, like gut pile or dead something. There's that kite right there, big one. That I want to go see that gut pile, but there's a lot of bears around here. The odd chance of grizzlies around here too, so. Don't really want to run into a bear with my bow. I've seen four coyotes. I saw one go in and come back out with a big mouthful of something. Well, something's dead in there for sure. I can smell it, but I wish I could find out what. You know, with self-filming, sometimes you can't quite get the shot. But uh, we were just—I was just talking about the bears and smelling that dead stuff in the bush there with the coyotes. And here comes this great big bear out of the bush. I was just bent down organizing my pack. I wanted to get my muzzle loader. He looked at me for, at about 40 yards for a few seconds and then he turned around, but I wish I would have got the shot. But super exciting and I put me a little bit on edge going forward in that bush. And that giant bear was right there at that bush, like 40 yards, 35 yards. Not bad for the first five minutes. <laughs> Bears and coyotes and something big and dead in there. All right. Gotta go find an elk though. There's tons of trout. I came back here in the trees, found a, a spot I can shoot in three different directions, about 30 yards, and just tried a few calls. It's so windy though, I don't think they can hear me. So I'm just gonna slowly walk this cut line, I think. All right, so we decided I'm gonna hunt into the wind back to the truck. I'm gonna follow this, this game trail I just found. It's a pretty thick, well-used trail. See how far it takes me. It's a nice spot in here. And everywhere up here is nice. Northern Alberta is just a pretty place. 
It's going to be a heck of a shock when something walks out one of these times. I don't care if we shoot anything today or not now. Today is a success. Look at what I just walked up on. Holy crap. You know, I thought being out here in all this big thick bush, you'd think you'd see some sheds or something. Look at this. Huge. Old, old buck. The wolves got or just old age or bears. Skull still got chunks of meat on it. I bet you that's just this winter. This past winter. Alright, let's go back to the truck and get out of this crazy wind. Well, the wind hasn't let up. We're going into a new spot. This big river valley I was in last time. It's a beautiful spot in there and we're just I'm gonna walk along the edge of this canola field to get access to that creek and there's a nice muley buck across the way. All right, we made it without spooking him. We're gonna go around and get out into this creek. Toured around that one spot and didn't see anything and it just got too thick and too windy. Couldn't call him out of that thick stuff if he tried, so. Came out and did a little exploring, and now we're gonna go in on this spot where it's a little easier to see and it's a little quicker spot to get to. But... I just call a calf elk into like 10 yards. I totally screwed it up by sitting in the wide open though. Hopefully I filmed a little bit of it anyway. It was like right here. As soon as I called, some cow calls and then a couple calf calls and they started walking and moving. It came right up the hill to me. I missed it. A cow and a calf elk across the creek down. All right, that's, that's gonna be it for day number one. That was so cool calling in that cow and calf. A rookie mistake by my part. Sitting out too far out in the open, so as soon as they broke out of cover, they saw me right away, but that was really cool. If the cow and calf are in there, the bull might be in there too somewhere. I mean, this creek's like 15 miles long, so there's gotta be some in there somewhere. Let's get back to camp and get some food. All right, morning number two. Starting off way back here in this thick bush again. This is some of the most tracks we've seen. Get back here a little closer to where I think they're gonna be and start with some cow and calf calls. Cause last night, that's what got that calf going. And uh, work my way into the wind. Every time I've been here, I got an elk, and it's always been just a fluke, so let's hope for a fluke this time, because it's looking pretty difficult right now. <laughs> but it's real pretty out. So. Is it worth losing an arrow off of? <laughs> On these types of hunts, it'd be cool to put a pellet gun pistol on your belt for grouse and stuff. Be quiet enough to shoot while you're hunting and get yourself some grouse along the way. All right, I made it up into these big ridges and valleys that uh, I wanted to check out. So we kind of made a plan. I'm gonna work these ridges all the way back to camp. It's about a mile. And my dad's gonna head the other way and go to the truck and bring it back to camp. Mm -hmm go every once in a while and call down into the valley. See what happens. There's not very much sign this way of where I started this morning. I think for the afternoon that big valley, big creek has got to be the, the place to be where we saw the cow last night.
on this little knife ridge. It's only 15, 20 yards across, but there's a big valley on that side and a valley on that side. So I'm gonna, I mean, if this was the movies, I would call on this one in whichever valley the bull answered, I would dive over the other side and call and try and bring him up to the top to have to look over to see the other bull. I don't think there's any elk in here. <laughs> but I didn't see a whole lot of much sign or anything in there. Didn't, definitely didn't hear any calls, so. Uh, I think that area is done. I mean, the elk move through there. There's tracks. You just never know. Like they say, they say this area, the elk do like a couple weeks and do a loop through the, you know, 20 miles uh, kind of area. But we're gonna go try that creek this afternoon. And maybe just sit on that creek bank somewhere wait for him. We're going into this big creek. I came about a half a mile downwind from where we were yesterday. I'm gonna hunt this creek all the way up past where we were yesterday. Calling and walking real slow all the way. This ditch I'm walking in was so full of water last time I was here I couldn't get, even get down here. It's just right up here. This is a gorgeous little valley. Now that it's not so windy, it could be really good. I just gotta get down there. I'm gonna go downwind a little further yet. I'm gonna try and get to that open face over there. And get down over there. This feels good. This feels really good. I just gotta get around this. to show. If I walk through here real slow, it can be done. That was a cow moose at like 15 yards. If that was a bull elk, man, that'd be awesome. I'd have been kicking myself I didn't have my bow though. Oh yeah, I'm gonna keep going. Doing the same thing. I could get back to the river from here, but it gets really thick as it drops off here, so I'm gonna go around again. I just came down through some of the nastiest, worst blowdown and thick, and I just couldn't get my way down anywhere else. It was awful bad. I ended up having to get up on top of the logs and walk down these you know, 100 foot tall giant spruce trees. All right, down on the creek bed. There's tracks in the mud, but nothing fresh. Big bear den in the bank. The creek bank. There's lots of bear tracks down in that mud there too. Not too far away. 
I'm sitting overlooking the little piece of the creek. The road is just behind me, so it's a quick walk out when I'm done. I just couldn't go any further. I was too tired. Maybe I'll try a couple calls just just because. Alright, well that's the end of night or day number two. Just saw that cow moose. Found a new spot, lots of tracks, it looked really good. It was a fun day. Lots of walking and lots of work, but it's an adventure. These things are hard to find. But people do it all the time, so they're here somewhere. Alright, good night. Well, we followed that trail up to the top of the hill and we got to the top and there was a salt lick and a trail camera there. So clearly somebody had the same idea we did. That, uh, that explains how heavy that trail was. Uh, this is the first cut line in a while that we can actually see somewhere. So I'm going to sit here and, and just watch this line for a minute. My dad just doing a big circle. It looks really good in here. Just need one to come by. The wind picked up so much, I don't think calling is going to do any good anymore. Alright, going in for the last evening. Gotta make it count. We're going to where we sat this morning. I don't think I'm going to cross the river this time. There's a lot of tracks right there at the river. Settle in. Last morning, I'm gonna go home lunchtime today. Figured I'd come find a new pretty spot to sit on a hill and watch the watch the valley. Should be bedded right below me down in here somewhere. this spot for an hour or so and then head back to camp and pack up all right guys thanks for watching uh, it was an awesome few days out in the bush the the colors the fall colors were amazing and uh, really looking forward to getting a few more videos out here right away but and I'm it's on my bucket list to go back and call in an elk with my bow I got a friend who's really good at it and I'm gonna try and steal some tips off of him for the next one but make sure you go check out non typical life online store it's linked in the description down below and uh, yeah like I said hats shirts everything's there and hope you like it thanks